The chemical reactivity of different atoms is generally based largely on the valence electrons rather than the core electrons. So one way we track this is by writing something called the Lewis symbol, which is just the symbol for the element surrounded by a series of dots representing the valence electrons. And we can use the periodic table to work out the number of valence electrons. Remember that the periodic table is broken up into different blocks. Uh, we have specifically blocks of interest including the S block and the P block. Elements that belong to these different groups have their valence electrons in the S and P subshells. Also remember that valence electrons only belong to the S and P subshells and D electrons are not considered valence. Anything in group 1 has an S1 configuration. Hydrogen has a 1s1, lithium has a 2s1 configuration for its valence electrons. Anything in the second group, the valence electrons have an S2 configuration. There are two valence electrons. When you get to the P block, consider something like boron, it will have a P1 configuration. But it also has S valence electrons. So it has a total of two S electrons and one P electron for a total of three valence electrons. Carbon, with its P2 configuration, has two P electrons and two S electrons for a total of four electrons total. That means it's possible to write from left to right one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And these numbers correspond to the number of valence electrons in the atoms of those groups. Anything in group one has one valence electron. Anything in this group has four valence electrons. So if we wanted to write something like the Lewis symbol for phosphorus, you would write the symbol for phosphorus and you would surround it by the number of valence electrons in that atom. Phosphorus has five valence electrons, so you would write one dot, two, three, four, and five. This would be the symbol for phosphorus. If you were to write the symbol for something in the D block, something like titanium, you would write it in a similar fashion. You write the symbol, and then you write the number of valence electrons. Titanium is in the fourth row, so it has n equals four for its valence electrons. It would have a 4s2, 3d2 configuration. But when we write our Lewis symbol, we don't include d electrons because they aren't considered valence, so the only valence electrons in titanium are the 4s2 electrons. So titanium would have a Lewis symbol with two dots representing the two 4s electrons.